Pushing the Bear is a historical novel penned by Diane Glancy, centered around the tragic events of the Trail of Tears and the harrowing experiences of the Cherokee people in 1838 and 1839 as they were forcibly relocated from their homeland to reservations in the West. The narrative unfolds through the perspectives of various Cherokee individuals enduring this arduous journey, cleverly interwoven with authentic historical documents and the voices of Christian missionaries and soldiers tasked with overseeing the Cherokees' exodus to their new home. At the heart of the novel is Maritol, a Cherokee woman who offers a poignant female viewpoint of the Trail of Tears. Maritol grapples with concerns about the stability of her marriage and family amidst the grueling trek, bearing witness to the horrors inflicted upon her people along the way. She reflects on the profound loss of her family's cherished home in North Carolina, where she and her husband, Nobody, once resided before the tribe's expulsion. Maritol also sheds light on the complex dynamics between the Cherokee walkers and the soldiers, illuminating the toll exacted by the journey's more than 900-mile ordeal, with its treacherous snowy terrain, biting cold, and steep mountain crossings. Additional voices in the novel include Nobody, Maritol's husband, who grapples with a profound crisis of identity brought about by his inability to cultivate the land as a farmer, a core role for Cherokee men. He directs his frustration toward the Cherokee from Georgia, whom he holds responsible for the Indian removal, struggling to comprehend the reasons behind this forced exodus. This resentment and confusion lead him to harbor ill feelings and even violence toward fellow walkers, soldiers, and those he perceives as complicit in their plight. Nobody's profound sense of emasculation and powerlessness, stemming from his inability to fulfill the traditional roles dictated by his culture, drives an emotional rift between him and his wife, Maritol. His violent tendencies strain their marriage to the breaking point. Within the novel, other voices also emerge, shedding light on the Cherokee's plight. Maritol's family members, such as her brother and sister-in-law, Tanner and Luthi, offer valuable perspectives. They underscore the significance of protecting family ties and the loss of control over their familial environment during the grueling trail journey. Tanner and Luthi, steadfast in safeguarding their children, Mark and Ephraim, demonstrate unwavering commitment to their offspring's well-being. Tanner occasionally clashes with Nobody over the latter's violent outbursts, though he empathizes with the frustration born from the confusion surrounding their displacement. Conversely, Luthi grapples with a sense of identity crisis as she can no longer fulfill her role as a caregiver and educator in the confines of their home. The relentless march takes a toll on her, resulting in weakness, illness, and a disconnection from her sense of self. The narrative also explores the perspectives of the soldiers and missionaries accompanying the Cherokee on their arduous journey. Among them is Reverend Bushyhead, an actual missionary of the era who advocated tirelessly for the Cherokee's safety and well-being during their removal. He and his family walk alongside the Cherokee en route to their western reservation, with Eliza, his wife, giving birth to a child along the way. Reverend Bushyhead delivers sermons to uplift the spirits of the Cherokee, offering them hope amid their removal. Sergeant Williams, a complex character, serves as a representative of the soldiers on the trail. While Maritol writes about numerous callous and unsympathetic soldiers, her close relationship with Sergeant Williams complicates her interactions with nobody. Sergeant Williams extends acts of kindness to Maritol, providing food and supplies, and attentively listening to her story. Consequently, he emerges as a multifaceted figure within the narrative. Diane Glancy, hailing from Missouri, is a versatile artist encompassing the roles of novelist, poet, and playwright. Her heritage, with a Cherokee father and an English-German mother, led to early struggles in reconciling her Cherokee identity with her surroundings. However, as she delved into her writing, she discovered a platform to authentically express her identity. Glancy's literary achievements have been nothing short of remarkable, adorned with accolades such as the American Book Award, Pushcart Prize, Native American Book Award, and the Juniper Poetry Prize, among others. Her extensive body of work includes over a dozen novels, two dozen volumes of poetry, two non-fiction works, and a multitude of plays. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.